In five easy steps, I want us to use the diagram to prove the theorem which says that AD divided by DB is equals to AE divided by EC. What's step number one? Construction. We need to join DC, BE, and F perpendicular heights K and H. Your triangles don't have to be color-coded like mine. I'm just doing that for the sake of clarity. So step number one is done. We can now move to step number two. Step number two, we need to pay our attention to triangle ADE and triangle DEB. We need to determine the ratios of the areas of those two triangles. What do I mean by that? We can say that uh, the area of triangle a D E divided by the area of triangle D E B is equal to half base multiplied by height. Let's pay our attention to A D E first. So here's triangle A D E. The base is A D and the height is K. So we're gonna have half A D multiplied by K divided by the area of triangle DEB. In DEB, the base is DB and then the height it is still K. So we're gonna have half DB multiplied by K. As you can see, a half and a half cancels out, K and K cancels out. So now we have AD divided by DB. Step number three, we need to pay our attention to triangle ADE and a triangle DEC. So we need to do the same thing, find the ratio of the areas. The area of triangle ADE divided by the area of triangle DEC will be equal to F base multiplied by height. So let's go ahead and look at triangle ADE. The base of triangle ADE, in step number two, we use the AD as our base and K as our height. In step number three, we're gonna instead use AE as our base and H as our height. The base of triangle ADE is AE and then the height is H divided by uh, the area of triangle DEC. So we have a half, the base is EC and the height is H. And then as you would expect, a half and a half cancels out, H and H cancels out. So now we have AE divided by EC. We just need one more step before we conclude. Step number four. We can say that uh, the area of triangle DEB is equal to the area of triangle DEC. Reason being that they have the same height and the same base. You have to write this on your answer sheet. Then the area of triangle ADE divided by the area of triangle DEB will be equal to the area of triangle ADE divided by the area of triangle DEC. Now step number five, we just need to conclude. AD divided by db will therefore be equals to ae divided by ec